Today's best m- m- music. Magic 89.9. You're listening to today's best music, Magic 89.9. My name is Hannah, and I have the pleasure oh, to hang out with Conan Gray. Hello. Hi. Thank you for Hi. having me. Hi, I'm so happy to have you on the Magic Airwaves again. I know Zoe had a chat with you last year in August. That was fun. Happy to have you back. Thank you for having me back. Thank you. What have you been up to in quarantine? You know what? Uh, The same stuff that you've been up to, Anna. A lot of (laughs) Netflix, a lot of sitting around. I've been drinking a lot of coffee. I've been reading books. I've been writing songs in my bedroom as I have been since I was 12. Same stuff. Same stuff. You're a homebody, huh? <laughs> I absolutely am. This is definitely <laughs> the comfort I have. Your comfort, yeah, I see. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> the plants are all here. The books are yeah. here. The candles, yeah. love it. It's the mood. So you've had a Thank collection you. of um, sad bangers and emotional tracks. Heather, Maniac, Heather, my jam <laughs> still. Um, what made you switch gears to something more upbeat this time? Honestly, I think that's kind of partially what it was, is like, I spent the entire past year singing sad songs. I love sad songs. Mm -hmm. I write so many sad songs. But the past year has been really sad. It's been a very, very hard year, I think, for Mm. for all of us. And I kind of wanted to start off the year with something positive and something that's a bit like escapist, you know, Mm -hmm. I don't really want to think about reality right now. And so I wanted to write something and release something that took people out of reality for a bit. So euphoric and happy this time. Tell me about the day you wrote Overdrive. Yeah, well, I wrote it um, with Tobias Jessup Jr. And I remember we were sitting and um, started playing this this bass line. And um, I literally sang the entire song all at once. I, it was just like, I was sitting there and I was like, oh, you're not on the weekend. And just started singing <laughs> the whole song. It was so weird. It was so weird. Tobias was like, what just happened? And I was like, is, I don't know, that Tobias. That's yeah, he was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I don't know. I think that in reality, I just really wanted to write something fun. I wanted to write something that I was craving that feeling of mm-hmm. freedom, mm-hmm. that feeling of escape, that feeling of, you know, living your life to the fullest because I, was, I wasn't living my life to the fullest. Mm-hmm. We all aren't living our lives to the fullest at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I think I just needed to say something like that. I love that sense of escape. So how is your creative process like? Is it always like, I'm going to get it done after like five minutes or sometimes it takes a little bit longer or is it through Zoom this time? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's different every time to be honest. Um, mm-hmm. But it, it really depends on the song, you know, like Maniac I wrote in the shower in like two minutes. You know, I just started singing in the shower and you can like hear the shower playing in the background of those (laughs) audio notes but with Heather um that was like a song that I'd been trying to write for like four years and I couldn't get it right and I couldn't get the lyrics right and I I was like how do you say this how do you get this emotion right and I just couldn't get it until Mm -hmm. finally I wrote that song so it really depends um on the moment but the main thing always is it's literally just me and my guitar that's it there's nothing more it's just me my guitar and I write songs. That's kind of all I do. Yeah. Keeping it raw and real. I love that. Are you always you. just writing or are you taking a break right now? Like, are you always creating every single day? I'm always writing mostly because I, you know, it's what I do. It's like my diary. Mm-hmm. I don't really think of it as like creating or work like work or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause I just, I just do it. It's the same as like, you know, calling a friend to me. It's just how I, how I've always lived. So um, yeah, I am always writing, to be honest. Love that. So are we expecting a new album this year? Um, I'm just at the beginning of making my second mm-hmm. album, so I don't want to make any promises and then like end up being eviscerated <laughs> by my fans. <laughs> um, but um, I think people can definitely expect some music out of me this year um, because that's what I really want to kind of focus on. You know, there's not much we can do right now other than make music. So, um, yeah, people can expect some music for sure. Yay. Thank you for giving us a little bit of a taste at the beginning of the year with Overdrive. And what should we look forward to in 2021? Do you have any collabs coming up or tours? No collabs at all um, in the moment, but uh, definitely I I would like some. And I think um, the main thing people can look out for is is some music. Yay. So what type of music are you listening to on your spare time? 
I know you're a big fan of Taylor Swift. Ooh, <laughs> good question. Um, I, I did listen to folklore an ungodly, possibly illegal amount of time last year <laughs> and this year included in all of 2021. Um, I've been listening to Phoebe Bridger's new album, mm. Punisher, which is very, very good. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of pop music, a lot of kind of like the old stuff that I grew up with. By old, I mean like 2010. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lady Gaga, Carly Rae. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. And right. yeah, I've just been listening to that kind of like stuff that makes me feel good. Uh-huh. Um, that kind of stuff, yeah. Love it. Do you have any advice for any young artists out there to stay authentic, stay raw and real in pursuing their dreams? I would say do what makes you happy mm-hmm. um, because you can tell when someone loves what they're doing and it's infectious to watch someone you know follow their passions and it's infectious to watch people you know grow and and really express themselves so do what you love if it's not making you happy it's not the right move and um follow all the dreams that you have because you literally never know what's gonna happen i had mm-hmm. no clue that any <laughs> of this was ever gonna happen and now i'm sitting here doing an interview so <laughs> yeah try it out Thank you so much, Conan Gray, for making time to hang out with us today. And that wraps it up. Thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to see you. We love you in the Philippines. Hopefully you can visit us once this is all over. I know. (laughs) I know. I can't wait. I can't wait to be able to see you guys in real life. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for making time. And for everybody listening out there, you're tuned into today's best music, Magic 89.9. Bye. Bye.